Hello everyone and welcome to today's Pokemon unboxing where I am very excited to open up some more Paradox Rift. I have got my five building battles right here. I am hoping I can get all four of the promo cards for this set. And I'm also hoping I can get some big hitters, some good illustration rares, some good special illustration rares, you know, particularly the Roaring Moon you know, or the Iron Valiant. I would assume those are still the two big hitter cards to get out of this set. I feel like not a lot of people went too crazy for this set. <laughs> I don't know if it was just because it was right after 151 or if in general just not a big hitter set, but either way I kind of feel the same. You know, I feel like they could have done a little more with the past and present stuff, but I feel like what they did do I'm pretty happy with. Uh, let's see, why am I opening this? It's to show you which promo cards we get. I don't even know what the promo cards are <laughs> for this. So let's see, we're starting off apparently with H Slash. So this is what I mean by the promo card. In the Build and Battles, it comes with four. There's four different ones that you can get. Uh, and then it puts the set name symbol in the corner, which I just love. I don't know why. And then it also gives you like a pre-made deck in there to play with. It gives you like little instructions and stuff if they introduced some new mechanics in the set. And then also we have got four packs of Paradox Rift to open. So that is what comes in a build and battle box. I'm having trouble speaking today. I'm questioning my choice to film today, uh, but it is what it is. Let's see if we can get, I, I buy five of them, so I, I'm okay with getting one repeat, but that's it, okay? Let's hope. Is it something new? It is! Who is it? I can't tell from here. Uh, Chiyu, it looks like. Very cute. Got our big old yin yang metal eyeballs there. Very nice, very happy. <laughs> I mean, it's not like these end up, I mean, unless it's like, you know, the Vivid Voltage with the Lugia and Charizard that became massively expensive. It's not like these cards are massively expensive. I could just buy them as singles, but like, it's fun. It's fun to see if I can get lucky enough. I feel like it's pretty rare that I end up getting all four of them out of my five boxes that I allow myself to buy. But, you know, I gotta try. <laughs> There are certainly some sets I'm trying to think of. One that I can think of in particular is Fusion Strike. I think I might have it might have happened with Chilling Rain as well, but like I bought my five and four out of the five had the exact same <laughs> promo card type of a thing. So let's see. Did I get anyone new in this one? Nope. That is my one repeat. I better get no more repeats. And by better not, I mean I hope not. I mean who am I really threatening here? <laughs> The Pokemon Company? Yeah, I'm sure they care a whole heck of a lot. Okay, let's see. Who'd we get in here? That's a new one! Yay! Delibird! I mean, obviously, it's the, the what is it, Iron Present? I, I always want to call them Iron Present. Iron Bundle. Yeah. Cutie. Aww, I love him. I don't know why. It's not like I was a big Delibird fan or anything before. I mean, it's not like I hated him, but he certainly didn't really do much for me. But him in iron metal form... I just think he's cute. <laughs> I don't know, man. So it makes me think we got two regular ones and then the future one. It makes me think that the other one is probably a past one. So it's, pr I mean, I would assume like maybe because it's always one of the cards that's in the set, just, you know, like in an alternate form here as a promo. So I'm trying to think of the ones that they did for the past. Like they did the moth. Why can't I think of his actual name? Volcarona. Yeah, they had him as a card. They had Screamtail as a card. The Amoongus. That's the past. The Brute Bonnet. Uh, the Magneton. On the shocks, Sandy shocks. Let's see. Oh, would you look at that? <laughs> I was very wrong, and I got all four of them. Like I said, that is not common, my friends. That is not common. Oh my god, I was so excited though. Okay, so Zatu. So they didn't do a past one. That's actually surprising to me, anyways. You know, like I said, I feel like they did kind of lean into the past and present through the past and future stuff with this. But, like, they also didn't. It was very strange to me with this set. Um, I feel like I should open these uh, in the order that I opened the boxes. So I'm going to do that. So I'm going to start off with Aegislash here. I can't even begin to tell you guys how tickled I am that I got all four of the different ones. <laughs> oh, that is really exciting. And it's been a minute since I... I mean, I really don't think 
As far as I can remember, I didn't open up Pokemon cards during Vlogmas. Uh, at least not on camera like this, you know? So I might have opened a pack here and there, like in my advent calendar, but so it's been like over a month since I've opened up cards. Definitely in this kind of a multitude or amount, but uh, Paradox Rift, you know, it's the, it is still the newest set, right? I'm not <laughs> making that up. Uh, so I, there's still plenty of cards that I need. It'll still be fun to go through and see all these cards and see if I get anything good. I mean, we are starting off with a reverse rare. I will take it and then, okay. Okay. And I'm trying to like, I'm trying to remember. I just got done opening up some uh, 151 and so I couldn't remember if like we still had the two reverses and the chance of uh, this kind of illustration. Uh, like I just I didn't remember but okay we got an illustration rare. We got Porygon Z. It's so cute. Oh my god look at this Porygon hat or Porygon Z hat in the background. <laughs> That's pretty cute. Dash pretty cute. Now are you a gamer's Pokemon or are you the Pokemon the gamer? I don't know, but that's pretty cute. <laughs> I don't even think I knew that that card existed, so yay. <laughs> I mean, I have looked at the full set, you know, I do the blind unboxing and then after that I'm able to finally watch people's videos opening up the set, slash also look at prices and the whole set on TCG Player, um, but then, you know, it's easy to forget these things, so. <laughs> I mean, like I said, the main ones that I can remember from this set that I want to pull would be those special illustration rares of Iron Valiant and uh, Roaring Moon. However, there are definitely illustration rares that I'm sure I would love to pull. Rika, you have a full art and a special illustration rare. I would love to pull that one of you. Um, so let's see what we can do. We've got a Bound Suite. We have got an Apom and just a hollow Yveltal. Uh, and yeah, there will definitely be full arts that I'll still want and need from this set. I'm sure I've pulled one or two so far, but like I said, it's been a while. <laughs> Is that Groudon illustration rare in this set? I know that's a big hitter. A lot of people wanted it. Pretty sure there's a really cute illustration rare of Mantyke, now that I'm seeing that. it's very, There's the two illustration rares of Plessel and Minun that are very cute. Would love to pull those. I've pulled his special illustration rare, so the, what is her name? Professor Sada, uh, Arvin's mom, you know, mom or dad, depending on which game you play. Her special illustration rare I would love to pull. So let's see, not in this pack, but Okay, I'ma take it. I, like I said, because I just opened 151, I'm still expecting like maybe there's a hollow energy behind this, but okay, we've got Bombardier. Bombardier, however you're gonna wanna pronounce it. EX, beautiful colors here with the fuchsia and the purpley orchids, very nice. I kinda don't like your neck sack, but like you're fine, you're a Pokemon, I'll take ya. <laughs> and I don't have this card, so yay, we love to get hits in our packs. Very exciting. I really, as far as I can remember, I don't know that, because you know, I feel like most Pokemon products, it's like, I can say one way or the other, you know, like with tins, I'm usually not super lucky. You know, with collection boxes, I'm either super lucky or super unlucky, like one way or the other type of thing. But build and battle boxes, I don't know. I feel like they used to be pretty lucky, you know, in past sets. Yeah, Professor Sada, there we go. But uh, I feel like lately they've been a little more rough. Like I feel like you used to be able to expect like a full art or something per box, but uh, nowadays that's certainly not the case. So let's see, anything behind you, horsey? Nope, just a melotic, melotic, potato, potato, tomato, tomato. So first Chiyu, let's see how you do. Because of course, hey, hi, hello, it's me. I like to do a little battle here. I wanna know which one of these build and battle boxes have the best hits in them. I sure do. So we are going to find out together because I think that's a whole heck of a lot of fun. Do you guys like opening up build and battle boxes? Would you rather just buy, you know, the singles? <laughs> of those promo cards. I understand that, especially with Pokemon cards nowadays. Like, as hard as the illustration rares and stuff are to pull, I feel like they're becoming more affordable to buy as singles, even though they're hard to pull. So like, buying cards as singles is definitely more tempting than it used to be. <laughs> because you used to feel like you actually had a chance. Nowadays though, I mean, that is a really cute Snorlax doll. Nowadays though, it just kind of feels like I don't know. 
it's just hard. It's just hard to get good pulls out of packs, and so it feels a little bit more wasteful to open packs, but it's so fun. It's so much more fun than buying singles, so I don't know. I guess I'm in a privileged place to be able to say one way or the other, but uh, yeah, you guys know me. I'm just happy to be opening up Pokemon cards with you guys at all. It's always a lot of fun. Good to see all the artworks and fun to see all the different artists and whatnot come up with these cards and uh, yeah, see what we can get. Is that, Oh my god, I thought that was an uncommon. I'm like, Zekrom, they have demoted you big time. Uh, but that is a reverse rare. I'll take it. We've got a scream tail. Okay, gonna slap you and then scream. Not very nice. And then, nope, just a Deoxys hollow there for that one. Wah, wah. So, hopefully these next two packs we can pull something more than a reverse rare. But like I said, you're not guaranteed anything in these. So, I mean, not that you ever were, but I feel like it was kind of like with ETBs. I guess it was never, like, confirmed. But back in the day, like, sun and moon kind of era, it at least seemed to me that it was guaranteed that you were going to pull at least one full art per ETB. That was just always the luck that I had, so I guess I just thought it was a thing, but apparently it wasn't. But I don't know, definitely these days it is certainly not guaranteed at all. You can get pooped on big time in ETBs. <laughs> Alright, we've got a pan pour reverse, and then a hollow iron moth. <sighs> I hope, I mean, as much as it's good to prove a point, I also don't want to prove a point that these can be real trash to open up, these boxes. <laughs> because I would like to have some good luck, so uh, can we get a nice card? It doesn't have to be like a million dollars, but like just a card that I don't already have. Would love to pull one out of this box, and you know, like a bit higher than a reverse rare, because I don't know that I have that reverse Zekrom, but you know, some kind of an illustration rare or something, I would like to pull that out of this. So let's see what we can do behind this Cedra. There's something. What do you think it is? I think it's just an illustration rare. Beautiful. Okay. I don't know that. So we've got Woe Chin there. I don't know that I knew that this card existed. Yeah. Okay. No texture. So just an illustration rare, but like still, really cool. I don't know, something about this, I like couldn't remember for a second how the background of the Roaring Moon special illustration rare looked. <laughs> so I got a little excited that that might be what this was, but uh, still, don't have this one. Don't remember this artwork, and it's really cool. I'ma take it! And like I said, as we move on to this next Chi Yu building battle box, um, you know, even just those simple illustration rares, no texture or anything, they I find anyways that they are really hard to pull nowadays. I don't know if you guys feel the same. Like I said, prices don't necessarily reflect it, but uh, I have a really hard time pulling them. So it does feel special when I do get to pull one. Oh, there's an Altaria right in this set. A special illustration rare of Altaria floating through the sky. It's really cute. Uh, I would love to pull that one. So let's see what we can do out of this pack, this first pack of this Build and Battle box. We've got our reverse Elekid. We've got Porygon 2 and just a hollow Lady Gaga to start things off. So we can do better. We can do much better. Let's see. How much better <laughs> we can do. I mean, come on, Chi Yu. Don't you want to win this battle? I was actually just having this conversation with someone the other day. I'm actually not that competitive of a person. <laughs> like, I just like everyone to win, <laughs> honestly. I feel like maybe I didn't used to be that way. Like, I used to have some more, like, jealousy kind of issues there. But nowadays, I'm like, I just want everyone to be happy, honestly. It makes me happy to see others happy. Oh, yeah, there's the illustration rare of Steelix, too. He's, like, helping out at a construction site. It's really cute. But there's a reverse rare. I'll take it. And then... A night sky. Oh, is this the, the little star baby? No. But I don't have this one. <laughs> Okay, hold on. I'll finish my thought in a second. Okay, low kicks. All right. Um, yeah, I thought the little star baby. Minior? Mini, Minior? I think. Minior? There's one of him in this set, so reverse rare Steelix, like I said. And then we got Iron Jugulis. Jugulis? I don't know how you pronounce it, you guys. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's one that kind of looks like this background for that card. 
I got excited. But I don't have this one. And you're like at a outside a diner or something. I don't quite understand this one. But like, hey, it's a artwork that I don't have. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> and an illustration rare at that, which like I said, hard for me to pull. So definitely gonna take that. Very exciting. Um, but yeah, when it comes to competition, I think maybe that's why I never like was very into sports. I mean, aside from the fact that I'm not like super athletic, <laughs> you know, I mean, I'm adequate, I guess I can figure it out. But like, I also just, I just don't care enough <laughs> to like, beat people in a game, you know? Um, but whatever, things change. I think that's a good change for the best for me. Let's see what we have behind you. Just an explode, and then, God, Yvelto is apparently the Pokemon and card of the day. But I would like to pull someone else, please. That would be very nice. Unless, is there a full art Yvelto? I guess I'll take that if that exists in this set. So, let's see what we can do, my friends. Still getting used to no Patrick, <laughs> especially after opening up the advent calendar. Uh, hit my Vlogmas videos last last year, I can technically say that. Um, just switching back and forth between Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet. It's very confusing. But, uh, all right, reverse Toxel. A reverse Flittle. Okay, there's something. Something that I already have. But it is something. Tapu Coco, I forgot you're in this set because I think it is so random that you are in this set. <laughs> so strange. So very strange. Uh, but anywho, Iron Bundle. Let's see how you do. I think right now we've got a pretty clear winner of a box, but it's not over yet. We are only like a little over halfway done. So Iron Bundle, you could come in for the win right here. I don't remember if you have a full art. I don't think so. But anywho, let's see what we can do. I always do wonder, like, who's the person that decides which Pokemon come in each set. I mean, obviously there's like some kind of a theme and it's more so with Japanese card sets that there's a theme since they end up squishing a couple sets together for English. Uh, but I do wonder these things, just like I wonder how Remoraid turns into Octillery. I don't get it, but there, here we are. <laughs> All right, and a Latios for that one. And let's see, it was just the first pack. We can do better. Let's see, let's find out if we're gonna pull something good and big in this one. Would love to pull one special, I mean, obviously I would love to pull at least one special illustration rare, but I don't wanna be too greedy. So let's see if we can get one out of this next pack, you know? Let's find out and let's find out together. Of course, my memory card filled up. So if there's anything good behind this masquerade, y'all are gonna call me a liar. But, okay, well, I guess that's good for you all, bad for me. <laughs> good for you all in the sense that you know I'm not a liar. Sometimes the battery card just fills up and my camera is kind of about to run out of battery. So I'm gonna go slightly quickly here and hope that I can finish things off. I still think it looks like this Flamigo is peeing out its butthole. I just, I don't know, that water placement. I don't know, artist. Oh, look at that! We got an evolution right there. Let's find out what we can do in this pack. We've got a Simipore. Nope, we've got a Reverse Steeny. And a Hollow Brute Bonnet. Um, it's feeling brutal. Alright, had to make space on my memory card. Because <laughs> uh, I haven't deleted a bunch of my Vlogmas footage. Did you guys watch my Vlogmas? Anyone here? I know it's not like guaranteed that Everyone on this channel watches my main channel, but I don't know. I feel like that's where most people come from. But uh, yeah, Vlogmas, it's over. I'm happy about it. I'm a little, it's a little sad. <laughs> I mean, it's a guaranteed content every week, you know? But I've got to put my creative hat back on and figure out videos to film again <laughs> outside of Pokemon. So uh, let's see. I've gotten no hits for this build and battle yet. I'm glad I said something. <laughs> We've got a beach court gold card. Yes, with the little flamingo down there. Oh, nice. Okay, and then just a Palkia with the matching energy behind it. Okay, okay. I do love these gold cards, the locations. I think they're really cool. And I've liked how recently they've added a little Pokemon in most slash all of them. Like even in Sword and Shield era, I just think that is so stinking cute. And I'm very happy I at least got a hit out of that box. 
I mean, like I said, you're not guaranteed anything. So, Zatu, you are the final build in battle. Let's find out how we're going to finish things. I know I'm curious. Let's find out together if I can get any more new cards. Like I said, I feel I don't want to jinx myself, but like I'm at least doing good in those terms. So let's see if I can step it up a notch and not only get newness, but also newness that I want. Yes, I mean, technically I want all newness, but you know what I mean. Like there's some new cards that I would be more excited about than others. Like I said, that Roaring Moon, that Iron Valiant, that sort of a thing. So we got a Slitherwing reverse. We have got a Hone Edge reverse. And we've got a hollow low kicks. So nothing in that first pack. Let's find out if we can get anything in this next one. Sorry, I'm trying not to rush too much, but like I said, I also, you know, when the batter gets down to that one third, I never know when it's gonna actually cut off and and die. So let's let's find out. I just get a little nervous. So let's see here. We should be okay. Oh yeah, you've got a special illustration rare with Torkoal that's really cute. Let's see if we can pull that one, yeah? Not in this pack. And a Kingdra. Wah, wah. But yeah, do you see these build and battle boxes? Like a lot of things. It's just all over the place. Nothing's guaranteed. <sighs> so, final two packs here, my friends. What can we do? I mean, you know the two best possibilities is that we would have Iron Valiant in one and Roaring Moon in the other. Special illustration rares. That would be best case scenario here, but... Oh, I think there's a tandem mouse or a mouse hold. Oh, maybe it's just an EX. Or is it an illustration rare? I don't remember. I feel like maybe that might be a thing, though, in this one. Or full art? Maybe I'm thinking of a full art. Okay, Spinda, what do you got? Okay, it's not gonna happen here. But, oh, oh no, it's just a, oh no, it is a, oh no. <laughs> that was such a horrible roller coaster. <laughs> I thought it was a full art, but then it looked like a regular hollow. But then I noticed it was a full art, but then I noticed I definitely already have this card. <laughs> it's Glycepod. I mean, it's a hit, but it hurts to pull a duplicate of anything big like that when you know there are so many other cards that you have not pulled. Especially in terms of full arts. Full arts are hard to pull nowadays, you guys. I mean, thankfully it seems like, you know, prices are very low on them, so it's not the biggest deal if you don't pull them. But like, it's hard to pull a full art these days. It really is. Um, but let's see what we can do here in this final pack behind this tulip. Ah, nope, we got a reverse Zubat and a regular Hollow Steelix. Wah, wah. Alrighty, who's ready for the recap? Um, so I don't have this in order of like who won because we got so few hits. <laughs> But I would say Aegislash Slash one, I would, uh, because we got, what, a reverse and a full art and an illustration rare. So I think he did the best. There were a couple that only pulled me one hit, so I just, we're just going over the recap here. We did get a few hits, okay? We got a few reverses, reverse rares, I mean. Um, we also got one EX card. I do already have this one. We also got a couple of full arts, one of which I do already have. Oh, but where's the other one? Oh, okay. Way to go, Cassie. <laughs> so, already pulled the Golisopod. We did get the Bombardier, which I'll take. I don't have this one. Beautiful colors. Love it. Uh, we did get a gold card. I forget nowadays that gold cards exist, but or exist, but uh, we got the beach court. I don't have this. I love it. I love the Flamigo at the bottom. Very nice. And then we did get a few illustration rares. No special illustration rares, but like illustration rares nonetheless. And like I said, these are hard to pull and I don't have any of these ones, so I'm gonna take it. <laughs> We've got Iron Jugulus, we have got Yveltal, and we have got Porygon Z, probably my favorite one that we pulled here today. So there you have it. Pokemon cards have been opened. We built, we battled. I got some hits. <laughs> It'll feel better once I put things in my binder, yeah, because I might have gotten some reverses that I don't already have that weren't rares, so we're gonna we're gonna keep our hopes up here. I'm gonna get things sleeved up and then we can put things in the binder. So here's that footage for ya. Let's see what additions we can make here. We do have chances. <laughs> 
mainly probably in the reverses, but like we have chances. Let's do our best, shall we? Keep our hopes high and our expectations low. Starting off with bulk. Bulk, a combo of friendship and bulk. Swoop, back to bulk, more bulk. And friendship, enjoy. Bulk, bulk, bulk. The word bulk is losing its meaning, but uh, bulk. Triple bulk. A newness! Yay, I think I remember this. I think I've pulled the reverse of low kicks, but not the regular hollow, so yay. But alas, back to bulk and more bulk. And that's it. Now we must move into uh, our sea of sticky notes. However, we get to remove one and add in this Yveltal, which is very exciting. Very cool card. We also get to go ahead and add in this gamer guy into the Porygon Z slot, which is very exciting. At least this page has some artwork on it now. Ah, actually double artwork. Yay! Boop. Ah. Sad, sad friendship. <laughs> Only sad for me. You enjoy, Galicepod. You enjoy. Then we get to add in Bombardier. And our first gold card of the set, pretty sure, we're gonna add in the Beach Court. So, yay! Now, into the reverses. We've got Masquerine here, as well as Bound Suite, and this is very exciting. We actually get to complete the first page of reverses with that Steeny, so yay! Get to add in Volcanion here, and Friendship for Char Cadet. Oop. Get to add in Horsey, Friendship for Cedra, as well as Remoraid. One of these pan pours goes into bulk, and the other gets a friend. Simipore also gets a friend. Vanillite gets a friend. Vanillish is new. Close to finishing that page. Elekid gets a friend. Plessel is new. Such a cutie. Minun is bulk. Zekron gets a friend, as does little Toxel here. Your mask is bulk, as is the crop dusting flittle, but Screamtail is here to be a friend. Good job. We got the other gimme ghouls, so you get to go on in. Friendship for the little salt block. Boop. Slitherwing, you get to be a friend. Bop. Zuad is bulk. Crobat is new. Steelix, you get a friend. And we get to finish off this page with Ferrothorn there. Very exciting. Ah, and also this Hone Edge gets a friend. So very nice. Porygon 2, apparently this is the friendship edition of this binder. Once again, Apom, you guys can share your apples. Explod, you are bulk. Spinda, you are a friend. Chantal is new, as is the adorable Snorlax doll. And then we are adding on, as I said, friendship. Or we are ending on friendship by adding in a friend. Yay. So, some good additions here, I would say. Filled up some of the reverses, but mainly I am most excited about adding in these guys. We love the new stuff. And that is that. Yay, there you go. Now you can see how I did with my build and battles. I mean, I'm honestly probably the most ecstatic that I got all four of the promos. <laughs> That's very lucky out of the five. Didn't have the best of luck in them in terms of pulls from the packs, but that is the risk you run opening up Pokemon cards ever. So <laughs> it's an expected thing, really. Um, and I'm just always happy to, like I said, open up Pokemon cards with you guys at all. So thank you guys for joining me here today. Let me know how you are doing with Paradox Rift. Has it been fun? Are you ready for the next set? Do you care at all? What have your best pulls been? Are you still hunting for stuff? Just let me know all of the things down below. You can also let me know if you enjoyed the video by giving it a thumbs up down below. I'd really appreciate it. And if you're new here, hey, hi, hello, how are you? You can go ahead and subscribe by tippity tapping that notification bell down below and becoming a member of my casserole family, be it here on this channel or my main channel. I'd love to have you here, there, and everywhere. And as always, I hope you guys are all doing well. And until next time, just stay well until then. Bye.